Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Uh, the hand's a lot better. I mean, a lot better. I mean, I thought the other day, I thought, oof, my internet thing is over. Uh, let me give you a little background. The guy that did that five-hour uh, Masonic video, yeah, I had a some interesting uh, email exchanges with the guy. Uh, well, for one thing, he said that uh, all Bible versions are the same. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Um, and oh, by the way, somebody that, uh, when I posted that thing to tell everybody to check it out, uh, I think it was a gal that kind of rebuked me and said, Bob, don't you have any spiritual discernment? This guy, you know. And for those of you, for whoever said that to me, thank you, uh, noted. Um, but he said, all Bibles basically teach the same thing. Can you find salvation in these corrupted modern Bible versions? I suppose you could. But all Bible versions do not say all the same thing. You know, one by, uh, in one Bible version it says, um, and he increased the joy. Then in another Bible version it says, and he did not increase the joy. So what is it? Did the Lord increase the joy or not increase the joy? And by the way, they were in sin. Yeah. So, no. All Bible versions do not say the same thing. Absolutely no way. So, you want to use a fake Bible? Go for it. But the thing that bothered me, disturbed me the most was, um, I mentioned, hey, uh, he, he was like, some of the things I posted, he, no, nah, we're supposed to love everybody. I'm like, really, dude? We're... We're supposed to love God's enemies? And I posted some things, and, you know, some, uh, I think it was like Old Testament. Comes back and says, well, that's the Old Testament. You know, I guess the Old Testament doesn't apply since we got the new and proved God, Jesus, in the New Testament, who totally negates everything in the Old Testament. Uh, I don't think so. You know? Uh Really? So we're supposed to love those that hate Jesus? We're supposed to love those that are God's enemies? We're supposed to... Do, does that include Satan too? Really? I mean, I didn't ask that. But uh, if he loves Satan or not. But it's funny. Here it is. This guy claims to have come out of the Masonic Lodge. And yet he's teaching, rebuking me for not teaching the exact same thing that Billy Goat Graham taught which is, oh, God loves everybody. Never mind what it says in Malachi, where it says God hated Esau. And then in Romans, uh, reaffirms that. I mean, you know, really? It's, it's un-freaking-believable. So, but it's funny. Uh, somebody mentioned to me and said, it's funny, uh, after I mentioned, uh, after I wrote this person about that, right after is when my hand was really in a bad way. I mean, I thought I was going to be off the internet for probably a month. I mean, it, I couldn't even move it. It hurt just to sit and do nothing. And uh, somebody mentioned to me and says, well, you know, it's funny. Uh, your hands start hurting right after you contacted this, you know, this person. And this uh, individual said, you know, started to tell me that uh, something about, well, maybe this person is still involved with the, the lodge and all this witchcraft and all this other stuff and put a, uh, a, you know, maybe a spell on you or something or sent devils to attack you. And it's funny, when they started talking about this, it popped into my brain, the exact same thing. So all your prayers to help my hands worked. 
But you know what I ask? Pray that if this person or whoever sent this a spell upon me to attack my hand so I couldn't be on the internet anymore, let it go to them double. Send the, if, if it was a spell, let it, cast it back to them double. You know, even the Bible says to uh, reward unto her double, right? Mystery Babylon? Oh, yeah. And this is in Revelation 18, speaking of Mystery Babylon, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. And you know what, everybody? We're getting to be that point. We're, we're going to have to make a choice. You're either going to stay in Babylon or you're going to leave. Babylon is not going to let the sheep use her pasture to, to graze. Uh-uh. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. What are her plagues? I wonder if that... Uh, medical treatment that they're putting on everybody is going to be one of her plagues. Uh, wouldn't surprise me. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double, double unto her double according to her works, in the cup which she hath filled fill to her double. So if somebody put a, a, a curse on me, let it be double unto them. That's what I ask. Um, I'm getting ready to do the um, best Bible verses for um, memory. Now you got to remember something. Um, well, all right. For one thing, um, I'm still on Gab, in case Tube ever takes me down, you'll be able to find updates there. Um, I'm still on BitChute. Uh, BitChute seems to be taking uh, small videos, something under 30 minutes. And then World Truth, I'm still there, but they're having problems. Uh, big time problems. They're being attacked. I mean, I know it. I don't like the uh, uh, some of the what they call white nationalists there. Uh, you know, I mean, I know who God's people are, but uh, your skin color is not going to save you. Uh, it's just not going to happen. And hating the you know who's uh, is not going to save you either. You get saved by the Lord Jesus Christ. But uh, all I know is I'm getting ready to post the memory verses. And uh, it would be very beneficial for everybody to memorize at least some of them, if not all of them, if you can. Now, you got to realize something. I am a teacher. And this... These memory verses are geared toward people that have gone to churches that have been taught lies to refute from the Bible the lies that the churches teach. Now, some of you are probably uh, evangelists. I'm not. I'm a teacher. Absolutely know that. Positively know that for a fact. I am a teacher. Not an apostle, not a prophet, a teacher. And teachers take babies and try to turn them into soldiers. But you know how babies are. they kicking and screaming and, you know, they don't, no, no, I don't want to grow up. I like my bottle of milk, warm, or whatever. Uh, very, very few people ever grow up to be soldiers. Very, very few. And uh, trust me, kicking and screaming, yeah, that was me. I, I Believe me, I did not want this job. 
I did not want this job. But there's very few teaching. So oh, what can you do? But if you're a if you are good at talking to people and winning them to Christ and you're evangelist, these verses could be useful, but they're not really geared for an evangelist. They're more for somebody to refute the lies that the churches have been teaching all these years. You know, the God loves everybody and the pre-trib rapture and uh, that, that kind of stuff, you know. It's sad. It's sad, people. So, uh, all right. Well, um, like I say, if for some reason I'm deleted here, Find me on Gab, BitChute, World Truth, and uh, maybe Odyssey. I mean, I do have a few hundred videos on Odyssey, but it's a mess because they they wouldn't uh, load my hour long videos, and most of my videos are an hour long. So, you know, you might have a part of a series, and it might have part two and part seven. And then, you know, the re all the rest are gone. I don't know. Alrighty, uh, take care and thank you. Thank you for the prayers. I mean, the hand is like a thousand percent better. I mean, it, it still hurts a little tiny bit, but it's not. It was crippling the other day. It was crippling. I mean, I, I couldn't even. I, I was typing with my left hand and. Uh, Brushing my teeth or anything would have been horrible. I just couldn't even, I could hardly even brush my teeth. That's how bad it was. I mean, I, I that's being disabled. So thank you for the prayers. But please pray that the, um, if somebody sent a, a curse on me, that it goes back to them double. Yeah. And uh, I'm not, I'm not messing around with a Masonic guy anymore. He can, you know, Bible says that if a heretic uh, rebuke uh, after the second or third admonition, reject. You know, hey, you want to love God's enemies? You go bless them and do it. You know, it's funny. Uh, he teaches pretty much the same thing that Billy Goat Graham did. A Mason, by the way. So Jesus said, by their fruits. Ye shall know them. And uh, an apple tree puts out apples because it's an apple tree. You know, goats can act like sheep. Sheep can act like goats. But a sheep is a sheep and a goat's a goat. And uh, yeah. All right. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.